Well, clashes this week over the U.S. Embassy moving from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem have turned deadly for dozens of Palestinians. Later today, protesters plan to rally along Sarasota's Bayfront. ABC 7's Marla Spence explains what the local protesters hope to accomplish. Today, protesters will be right here at Marina Jack to voice their concern and to speak out against what they say is a massacre of Palestinians. Dozens of Palestinians were killed this week when demonstrations near the Gaza border turned violent. The protests happened as Israel celebrated the U.S. Embassy's move to Jerusalem from Tel Aviv. Yesterday was also a landmark in the Middle East. Israelis celebrated as the anniversary of the Jewish nation established 70 years ago. Palestinians also have a name for it, Nakba Day or the Day of Catastrophe, when more than 700,000 Palestinians were displaced from Israel. The local protest is organized by a group called Answer Coalition, whose aim is to stop war and end racism. One organizer says the group supports the Palestinian struggle for freedom. Like this is about human rights and um, right and wrong anywhere. Um, killing peaceful protesters is wrong. We want to go out and call um, for everyone to stand in solidarity with Palestinians' right of return to um, their ancestral, uh, to their homeland. Brian Ellis says, Brian Ellis says his group is not anti-Semitic. He says many of his members are Jewish and they'll be right here at Marina Jack protesting tonight from 7 to 8. Now, the Sun Coast isn't the only area in Florida that's seen protests. Orlando protesters stood in solidarity of Palestine on yesterday and also on Monday. I'm Marla Spence reporting in Sarasota for ABC 7, your Sun Coast News.